day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, Happy New Year. This is our first Bible study. So excited about it on the 3rd of January. This is part B as what we've got focusing on. And one of the key scriptures to start off with is Isaiah 60, 61, verse 1. And it says, it's a rise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. We as the body of Christ, the glory of God, 2021, let the glory of God rise on us. Let the glory of God shine on us. And let us go ahead and be effective witness because that is our job. That's our response. We've been called to preach the gospel. And if we're going to let our light shine, we need to let our light shine according to the characteristics of Jesus. People need to see less of us and more of him. And, and the good thing, though, is that when you know God is working with you, working with you to be effective witness and working with you to be able to defeat the challenges and the mountains that comes in our life. We got some mountains in 2021. We just came through 2020. So therefore we know that just like he brought us through 2020, 2021, God's gonna be with us. God got our back and God's gonna be a blessing. He's gonna be a blessing for you. So let the light shine on you. Rise and shine, saints. For the glory of the glory, the glory of the Lord is been part of you. Amen? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be blessed, bye-bye. If you don't have that, then we're, we're, we're pretty much worthless because it says that, uh, that faith working by love. Yes, sir. And that and so should be moved by compassion. It, yep. But so in other words, if, if God's not moving you toward people that you want to avoid, don't go there. Don't go there. You don't need to it's go your, there. It's your ministry. <laughs> my, my, that wasn't my Nobody calling. Else. <laughs> that, that's just not my calling today. It ain't my calling today. Don't let me go somewhere because I ain't going to do nothing to improve anything. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, if I move under my own authority, my own uh, uh, will, opposing yeah. will, it's not. Well, you know what? I like to raise. I like to raise a couple of points. I remember. I just remember. You know, I don't know why this is going back to my mind. I'm just going to raise it. I don't know if it's appropriate or not, or it makes sense. But when I was a young man coming up, and in, uh, in down in backwoods Alabama, I remember those old mothers and stuff. You go by their homes and they was always clean. They had so much hospitality. They offer you something to eat. They gonna make sure you're comfortable. See, like they wouldn't sit down and relax. They always trying to be hospitable. If daddy brought home friends, they was always making sure that they served them and took care of them and stuff like that. And then nowadays, you know, things are so different. Now, your wives be telling you shit. You be bringing these folks back here. I ain't gonna be trying to cook for them. You ain't telling me you bring nobody back here. I ain't gonna be trying to clean up and, and take care of your friends and all some kind of stuff. I mean, and, 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 and it brought it taught, made me think about what Robert Jackson says. I think, you know, a lot of times it appears that um, we are trying to imitate the world to draw the world into the kingdom. Do we should, should we be dancing in the choir stand? I mean, should we have all these folks, should we be playing secular music? We put Christian words to it. I mean, are we, should we be doing that to try to attract young folks? We got to play rap now in the church. I mean, if we're trying to have the attributes and the, and the, and the, and the pureness and the beauty of the kingdom as part of who we are and we just be that, do we really have to borrow uh, from the world to appeal to the world, to get the world to come over to where we are? And I think if we do that, then how are we going to transition back to kingdom attributes exactly. once yeah. we get them? I just think that uh, oh, yeah. I just think that uh, righteousness and purity and honesty and those attributes that should be displayed as relates to the kingdom should be those things that people admire. And if you bring them in, like the old song used to say, the same thing it took to get your baby hooked. It's going to take the same thing to keep her. So if you start yeah. bringing in all that other stuff, I mean, yeah, how can you how can you now get them in there and then want to transition back and say, well, now you need to start showing a little less cleavage and we don't do booty shaking in here. And, uh, you know, that's not how we handle it. You know what I'm saying? That's not. Exactly. I, I, I mean, I don't know. There's a little confusion no. going on right now as, as, as far as I'm concerned. That makes sense, though. The fact you're right. And I think that's what we run into the problem. You know, in Chinatown, I'm just using the example, 
they're not for when you walk into Chinatown, is anybody making you put on the, the clothing that the people have of Chinatown? Did it, did no, it? Not normally, no, they don't. I don't think they do anywhere. Do you speak and act like them? Are they telling yes. you how you're supposed to be if you're going to live here? Huh? No. Well, so what we need to do is let them see and let us understand we are continuing moving, moving from glory to glory ourselves. We are a work in progress ourselves. We may have moved up the line in different areas, but we are still a work in progress. We are transforming into the image of his dear son. And yeah. therefore, we shouldn't be trying to make somebody else be something that we're not yet. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, the you know, Along the lines of what uh, Jimmy was saying, um, I think, you know, we like to use uh, a term, a phrase, lead by example, but I think when we are talking about the kingdom, we should serve by example. Yeah. Yes. And as we are doing what we're doing, you know, we can't necessarily force people. Uh, you know how that works. So we just we just continue to serve. And then serve. when they, uh, and we gotta remember when somebody is lost. Come on now. That is more than just a physical situation. Right. But, but we can we can understand. Because you know, you if anybody that's been in the woods yes, or in the forest, you know, you can be you can be 25 yards from the from the main road. Uh, but if but if but if you don't know which direction you're going, you still lost. Come on, right? come on, come on. And and so, likewise with uh, uh, with what we're doing, I think we we just serve, and then as people observe us, come on now, they can see, and then they can see which direction that they may, you know what, I like that direction yes, that sir. that person's going. Yes, sir. And, and I'm going to do that. And then the next thing you know, they're part of the family. Come on now. But if, but there, and then there are those who, you know, maybe they don't want to be found. And that's the thing about when we look at listening to the to the word, when, you know, Jesus said, I'm, I'm here to, for the lost. Come you know, on. there are some of us, <laughs> we lost, and, when I, and I'm talking about people. Yes, you know sir. what, look, I don't want to be found. Uh, I want to be right where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, I wanna, you know, and then I want to be able to complain. I want to have yeah. angst. I want to have anger. I want to. I want to yeah. be able to. You know. And so you just well, you know what? You're you're lost. <laughs> but what we should do is continue to serve and see. And that's where, uh, you know, we talk about being despitefully used and this and that and the other. Now I'm not saying being a fool. I'm don't don't misunderstand what I'm saying. No, just, it's just that, we, you know, we we uh, like we learned in the military. Hey, look, you got some a troop that don't want to act right. We, we, we don't set them up for failure. We continue to set them up for success. And then if you just mess up, that's on you. That's on uh, it's yeah. not because I, yeah. I I did that to you. And yes, that's sir. what I think that we, uh, that's one of the things that I think we need to do. The other thing I want to mention is, you know, Jesus, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that he was a welcoming and is a welcoming spirit. Right. So when we are out and about and we're doing whatever it is that we're doing we gotta maybe pay attention or be mindful of the the uh atmosphere the aura that we uh, uh present to people right. um because when we're you know and i've i've actually played this little I, I don't know if you would call it a game but i've been out and about and, you know and i put on the mean mug and you know what i get that mean mug reaction from people hey they don't want to you know and then i put on that smile or i put on you know I, the, the spirit Yes, and sir. I get a different reaction from people, you know. And I think that again, that's part of that 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 meekness and that humbleness. Yes, sir. And that uh, and 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 uh, we're just kind of talking about it. If we take on that arrogance and that pridefulness of the world, you know, we're gonna continue to get what we get. Come and on, then, you know, we shouldn't expect yeah. anything else. <laughs> you know, that's true. And you. Know